Hello everyone, this is CTS Cloud with High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be doing a unboxing and overview of the Sapphire Z68 motherboard, their newest motherboard with the 60, uh, Z68 chipset. Now I have the box here um, and we're going to be doing the unboxing right here. As you can tell it hasn't been unsealed yet so with that let's go ahead and get to it. And see here it says to pull open, pull to open, so I'm going to just do just that. And that didn't quite work out. <laughs> Try the other side. Alright, there we go. And go comes now this is just a review unit sent by Sapphire and here is the unit itself let's get this box out of the way get these out of the way okay so here's the box itself and as you can see it's a lot of silver a lot of I guess you call it platinum and uh, it's really shiny um, try, I put it at an angle so you guys don't see the camera and let's take a look around the box really quickly here. So here's the front um, that you'll usually see. And as we go down here, you know, just their logo there. And now here's the back. So it has some of the features, which I'll go over in just a bit. And there's Sapphire logo. And on the side has a specifications list. And on the other side has the barcode and just about it. it has a seal right there so okay so let's go ahead and go over some of the features Sapphire has put on this box to kind of show you what it has to offer so it has the Intel i7 i5 i3 LGA1155 processor so our, you can put those processors on there um, you know with the Intel Z68 chipset um, also on board is 4.0 ATA uh, 6 gigabit um, or SATA 3 rate with RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 support. Um, it supports up to 16 gigabit uh, gigabytes of um, DDR3 RAM, which is 1333, 1066, and 800 channels respectively. Um, 2.1 Bluetooth is enabled as well. Um, you also have two USB 3.0 ports, 12 up to 12 USB 2.0 ports, and I believe some of them are are headers that you connect to your case so not all all 12 are on the board itself built in. Um, you also have Intel HD graphics, um, 8 channel high definition audio, um, you got the PCI Express card, or you actually got three of them which are X16 for your AMD Crossfire technology and then you have the Virtue uh, GPU virtualization and which I'll explain a little bit later when we get into the motherboard and some of, some of the other features on the back um, they already mentioned pure speed, they got the Intel, they got the DR3, so things like that already mentioned um, USB 3, um, HD graphics, USB, uh, excuse me, Bluetooth 2.1 and PCI Express, so those are some things we already went through um, they just give more explanation there uh, for pure reliability um, so they first put that they got the uh, phone capacitors so these are a little bit better than your standard capacitors on your motherboards they have more uh, heat resistance and a lower ESR rating and then the choke um, by Sapphire the choke this diamond choke that they have here is a uh, heat sink that's on the board that allows for um, better cooling um, it, it also gives more like it gives more power efficient um, than other and other heat sinks that are on the board itself. So, also has a um, 7 segment display and also a dual BIOS switch so you can kind of switch from um, which BIOS you want to load into. Alright, and next we'll be going over the mother. Okay, so I already unboxed it and here we go. Uh, let's take a look at the accessories that comes with first. And so it comes with the DVD, the installation DVD. Uh, the back plate, you know, for your case. So there you go. Uh, installation guide, different languages. 
and so it has the SATA cables and it's, I think it has, it should be two sets so I think it's four or six, let's see two six of them so it comes with six of them, that's pretty cool and I believe that's about it alright so let's go ahead and take a look at the motherboard and first off you can see the chipset right here um, the Z68 chipset and right over here you have the processor uh, for the LGA1155 socket so it fits the i3, i5, i7, SETI bridge and over here next, right next to it you have the um, four uh, DDR3 DIMM uh, slots which, you, which supports up to 16 gigabytes max and uh, the channels are 1333, 1066, and 800, as I previously mentioned. Um, so you can go and do that. Um, down here, you have the three uh, X16 uh, PCI slot, PCI Express slots. So you can um, do a crossfire support. So you see, I don't know, you might be able to pick it up. Crossfire down there. And so you, you know, you put one here, put two here, you get the X8 speed. Put three, you get X4. Um, you gotta have the three PCI 2.3 uh, right under there, or actually in between there. And over here, the two, I guess, ports that you, that you can't really see on this side, but the two ports on this side are uh, up there are uh, USB, I mean, excuse me, SATA 3 uh, 6 gigabit ports. And then there's actually two each right here, so there's a total of four. There's also four for each of the two black ports for um, SATA 2 or 3 gigabit. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over the I.O. Uh, ports on the back of the motherboard here. Um, so you have the PS2. You know, you can either plug in the keyboard or the mouse. Um, you have the uh, four USB 2.0 ports down here. You have the Bluetooth. Um, you also have the sticker for Virtue. I'm not sure why they stuck it there. I guess it's right over here. Um, basically the Virtue allows you to um, optimize your your GPU so when you're gaming it'll it'll automatically switch with the software to your uh, dedicated GPU um, and then when you're not gaming it'll switch back to so it'll kind of pick and choose when to use which GPU whether it's integrated or dedicated. And so now the top port right here this optical S PDIF out port. Um, right on the bottom of it is the HDMI port. And then lastly on the bottom of that is the display port. Um, you also have your VGA port, uh, DVI, uh, DVI port. Um, this is your gigabyte LAN port. So you can do 10, 10 100, and 1000 LAN ports. So yeah. And then you have the two USB uh, three ports. Notice that the color is blue. This one's black, kind of like over there is red for SATA three, black for SATA two. And you have your audio ports right here. You know all your standard colors. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over some of the other features that are on this board. So right here we got the um, three pin fan header, uh, CMOS reset, reset for the board, power button for the board. And we got another uh, three-pin fan header. Okay, and a uh, seven-segment display, uh, four USB 2.0 pins uh, for the headers. And let's see here. Let me go to the left right here. Um, I believe we have the front audio header. So this is for your front of the case when you plug it in for your um, microphone and your heads uh, and your uh, 3.5 millimeter head uh, jack. And then this is the PDIF header right next to it. Let's see here. Uh, right here's the 24 pin, or yeah, 24 pin uh, power power connector for your PSU. And on top right here next to this heat sink, you got the 8 pin 12 volt power connector. Um, right next to that, you also have the another um, 3 pin fan connector right over here. So. Yeah, the, you know, it's quite a few. Um, and right here, you got the uh, CPU fan header. So, it's, you know, it's good access when you put your 
whatever fan cooler you're going to put on top of your processor. And I believe this is also a, yeah, this is another fan header right here. Um, one more right here. And then so, yeah, there's two on this side, two on this side, and then one on this side. Alright, so a couple more things. Um, actually, just a few more things. Uh, right here we have the 4-pin uh, power connector, as you can see. And right on top of it, we have the PC speaker um, on the motherboard, so it's you know, near the bottom next to the power connector here. And lastly, we have the BIOS uh, selection switch, which is, you know, you can kind of move it around. Alright, so this has just been an unboxing and overview of the Sapphire Pure Platinum Z68 motherboard. Um, you know, check out the full review over at HighTechLegion.com. Later, guys.